Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another movie theory discussion topic. This one's going to be um, how can K Pride send Wolverine back in time if that if sending back people in time is not her power, technically. Um, so yeah, many people have been confused and been wondering as to how K Pride, played by Ellen Page in the movie, can send Wolverine back in time. Before I go any further, this may contain some spoilers, so I recommend you guys, you know, logging off, watch the movie, and then come back. So, yeah, 10 seconds spoiler warning starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up. So, if you haven't watched the movie for whatever reason, Please don't comment down below or be messaging me to never give you a fair warning because I did. And yeah. Now also before I go any further, this theory is going to get confusing as hell. So I am going to leave a link down below to the Wikipedia article that I'm getting this off. Um, so yeah. Now many people have been wondering as to how can Kitty Pride send Wolverine back in time if technically her powers don't include that. At least that's what most, most people think. Now, Kitty Pride's powers are going is going through objects, which or dimensions, objects you know, three D, three D objects. Uh, now, technically, when you go through a proper description, her powers, it, power usually would say going through dimensions or something like that. Now, there's four or five different types of dimensions that I could think of. I think there's only four. There may be a fifth, but that's a whole different story. Um. It includes the first dimension, um, or one-dimensional things, which technically don't exist. Um, there's two-dimensional things, which also technically don't exist. Um, again, I have to, but then again, I have to really research those, those two. There's 3D dimensions, which is basically like objects, regular objects, such as a wall, a door, you know, a closet, something like that. You know, the actual things we consider dimensions, you know, you know, that the computer, a camera, um, or even a person. That's what we would usually consider a dimension. Now there's also the inclusion of the fourth dimension. Now the fourth dimension is more, most pop, most commonly known as space-time or space-time continuum. Um, as the space-time conti continuum. Now the space-time continuum theory uh, basically states that, uh, sorry, um, basically states that, um, there are three types of dimensions under this mega dimension, if you know what I mean. Um, there's the space-like intervals, light-like intervals, and time-like intervals. Now, going, I'm going to start off with light. Light-like intervals is basically... In a light like interval, the, the spa spatial spatial distance between two. I uh, no, wrong one. Yes, actually no way. Uh, okay, no, no, this is the correct one. In a light like interval, the spatial distance between two events is exactly balanced by the time between two events. So the events defined define a square space time interval. Zero light like intervals are also known as no inter intervals. Sorry about that. We'll give me a sec. Um. So yeah, basically, I basically um gives the concept of time. How you know what? How can light travel between between two different time periods? If you know what I mean. Uh. Now, there's also the fact that you also have the time-like intervals. The time-like intervals basically say states that for two events. Separated by a time-like interval, enough time passes through through them that there could be a cause and effect relationship um, between the two events. For a particular for a, for a particular traveling through, you know, for a particle traveling through space at less than the speed of light, any two events which occur to or by the particle must be separated by a time-like interval. Events paired event pairs with time -like intervals divine, define a negative squared space interval which shows an equation and may be used to occur in each other's future or past um 
basically it says that um, a particle can travel through space at a speed less than light and go from one time to another okay so going through that technically Kitty Pride's powers of sending people through um, through time is technically justifiable because she's sending them through time at um, you know through space and time which will make sense because you know those two basically kind of go hand in hand when you're talking about something like of this category now there's um, many people ask the question as to how can how, how can Wolverine be, be sent back in time uh, well to begin with he's the only one physically possible to actually be sent back in time because of the healing factor that's what most people question why is he the only one to be sent back in time why can't you know someone like Professor X or even Katie Pride herself be sent back in time and that is because um, the brain waves is a type of energy okay now light is also a type of energy as well as darkness which is using kind of logic and common sense darkness is also to an extent part of the fourth fourth um fourth dimension which include which is the space time now considering that light um and darkness is a type of energy and so is space in this in this um in this sense because here says when space-like intervals separate two events, not enough time passes between them to occur for them to exist a casual relationship, causing a spiritual space spatial distance between the two events uh, at the speed of light or slower. Generally, the events are considered not to occur in each other's future past. The existence of reference frames, such as the two events are observed, occur at the same time, but there is no reference frame in which the two events can occur at the same potential, same spatial location. Basically, that says that. You know, the, basically, it says that. If one event in the past has changed, the future changes. You know, space, space, you know, time continuum, whatever. So yeah. Now, how does energy actually go into this mix? Well, it goes with the light. You know, energy, light is a type of energy. You know, energy is energy, and brain waves are also a type of energy, and also to an extent a type of light. Okay, pride cannot really send anyone back in time without actually rupturing their consciousness. And the consciousness is part of the brain waves, so hence, if she ruptures the consciousness, you know, the person dies. So that is why Wolverine is the one to be sent back in time. So yeah, this is a very confusing topic. I will leave a link down below um, to the article I am reading this off. Um, yeah, I mean it's not the most clear-cut theory, but it's a theory, and it to me it's the one, this the thing that makes more sense as to why. And it's the thing that justifies as to why Kitty Pride is able to actually do, you know, actually send Wolverine back in time. Um, I actually went to my local comic book shop the other day, and there many of us were discussing the Days of Future Past, and apparently the biggest topic between us was how can Kitty Pride do this, and I explained it to them, and it, some of them were lost, some of them kind of understood. And that's when I realized I needed to make this video like ASAP. So you know that's what I did. So yeah, the only reason. She, so yeah, the reason why she's able to do what she, you know why Kitty Pride is able to send Wolverine back in time is because technically space, the space time continuum is a type of dimension. Her powers is to go through dimensions, and the only, and the reason why Wolverine is the only one physically possible to actually be sent back in time is because the consciousness um, and the brain waves are electricity which is a type of energy and light is also a type of energy so to an extent energy is part of the space and continuum um and since wolverine is the only one that can actually um heal fast enough to not get it completely ruptured that's why he's the only one able to be sent back in time for me that's the theory that makes the most sense the most it's the most logical explanation if any of you guys have a different theory as to why kitty pride is able to do the Things that you can do in these future paths, you know, such as sending someone back in time. Time, um, please don't hesitate hesitate to comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys and what you guys think. You know, your opinions. Let's you know, see if there's anybody who agrees with me or you know, thinks I'm wrong. But please do comment down below. Um, and you know, I'm, I may argue with you. You know, whatever. You know, me, you know, we'll we'll see what happens after that. So yeah, sub subscribe if you're not already subscribed already. Um, subscribed already. 
I do movie theory um, videos. I also do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely stay tuned for those. Again, there is going to be a link down below for those who want to check out the article um, on Wikipedia on space time. So, you know, for those who want to check it out and get maybe a more clear understanding on this, um, you know, feel free. Um, you know, again, link down below. If you like this video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel March signing off.